Bonjour, and welcome to the Pani Purse series, visiting France's most beautiful villages in the south of France, which includes the languedoc Roussillon and Provence. When it comes to promoting medieval villages with winding cobblestone streets, decked out in flowering window boxes, and pastel and stone facade of houses, France excels. Today we're exploring St. Willem le Désert, which is about a 50 minute drive north of Béziers. The shell on this signpost signifies that this village is part of the Chemin de Saint Jacques, the way of Saint James, which uh, goes down into Santiago de Compostela in Spain. St. Willem le Désert is an unspoiled, authentic medieval village, a true gem with an abundance of fountains, water spigots, and flowers. For 12 centuries, this village of sun-baked houses has nestled together along ancient cobbled streets at the bottom of a dramatic ravine. This is the mayor's office, or the Marie, with its obligatory spigot. And what I found so intriguing about this is that the Verdes River, which runs through the village, runs right underneath the mayor's office. Look at that. Runs right under the building. How cool is that? Today, St. Willem le Désert has just under 300 residents. But during the tourist season, the village is normally full of people who've come to see a delightful medieval village with a history that captures the imagination. A knight, an emperor, and religious relics. All these little side streets and alleyways, covered alleyways that you can walk up and explore and walk down along the back side of the village. It's just very charming. There's another little side street, little alleyway you can explore.
St. Willem has lots of little specialty shops. Like over here we have the, the Sausage House, La Maison de Saucisson. And over here it's the Delice de Garrigue, which would carry things like jams and honeys and olives. Very nice little shop. Bonjour, madame. The abbey in the town center, the Abbey of Chalon, was built in 804 and contains a piece of the true cross of Christ given by Gwillem, who received the relic from Charlemagne. Gwillem was Charlemagne's nephew as well as one of his chosen knights. He was a valiant knight who captured Barcelona from the Saracens and defeated them at Orange. Gwillem founded the Abbey of Jalone, where his relics remain. This is the garden for the Abbey of Jalone. They've got a few vines and olive trees, more vines, and a potager for vegetables on the far side. And notice that the vines are all surrounded and ringed in by roses. That's because roses are harbingers for a disease that attacks the grapes. If there's that, this particular disease present, it will show up on the roses first, thereby giving them a warning that the grapes need to be protected. And there's that shell again, designating that it's the way of St. James. Just look at the honeysuckle over this archway. Just absolutely amazing. And smells so good. This very charming town square, the Place de la Liberté, is the commercial and social heart of St. Guillaume le Désert. It's bounded by shops and restaurants and the Abbey Church. And it has a wonderful fountain where you can get a good cold drink on a hot day. And this absolutely incredible plane tree that was planted in 1855, which just lovingly gives shade. <laughs> it's just incredible. As always, Thanks for joining me on my wander through St. Guillaume le Désert, which is featured on my new app, Potty Poche. Potty Poche is a fantastic little travel guide for must-see destinations in the Languedoc, Roussillon, and Provence, which uniquely includes GPS locations, descriptions, and ratings of all the public toilets in the locations visited on the app. Written in five languages, it's an app for people on the go, like yourselves, who have to go. So if you're out and about in the south of France, take Potty Posts with you, available on Apple and Google. And I leave you with this. The marrow of life is not your usual trek. <laughs>